Hi everybody, it's Brittany. I'm here with Coach Jacob. He's going to be my student today. Today I'm going to introduce you to gravity yoga. Gravity yoga is targeted flexibility training. It's holding stretches for a longer period of time. And we do so passively and relaxed so that we allow gravity to do most of the work, hence the name. So we'll be holding these poses between two and five minutes. So a lot longer than we normally would. And today will be part one of a two part series for unlocking our tight hips. So with that, Jacob will get started. We will get started in a comfortable seated position. We're going to establish our breath that we'll be using throughout class. It's four to eight. So it's an inhalation through the nose on the count of four, and then an exhalation through the mouth for a count of eight. And between our inhale and our exhale, we're constricting the back of our throat. So it's making like a and then the exhale is a like you're fogging up a mirror. So relax your hands onto your knees. Bring your chin parallel to the ground. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. And take a deep breath in through your nose. One, two, three, four. Open mouth, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale through the nose, one, two, three, four. Open mouth, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, and we'll be looping back to that breath throughout class. When we exhale longer, it helps to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system, which helps to relax the stretch, stretch reflex, which allows us to stay in the um, stretches longer. So we'll get started here with our warm up. We'll come to stand. Feet are a little bit wider than hip distance, toes out. We'll be doing moon squats to warm up. It's a great way to warm up all the muscles and the joints. So we'll cross our forearms, make tight fists, sit back to a squat. If this is as far as your mobility goes today, that's fine. Or come lower. And take a deep breath in, uncross your arms, spread your fingers, open your chest. Exhale, cross the forearms again, come back to a squat, make fists. Inhale, reach up, spread your fingers. Exhale, cross the forearms back. Breathe in, expand. Exhale, cross the forearms, make fists, drop your head. And one more time, inhale, spread the fingers. Exhale, cross the forearms, make fists. Stay at the bottom here, release your hands to the mat. You can shake your head yes or no. And then we're gonna take that one more time. Cross your forearms, make fists. Breathe in, expand up, spread the fingers. Exhale, cross your forearms, make fists. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, cross the forearms. Breathe in, reach. Exhale, sit back into a squat. One more time, inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, squat back, drop the head, cross the forearms. Good, now slowly rise up to stand. Feet are hip distance apart. Pinky side edges of the feet are parallel. And breathe in, sweep your arms up to the sky. Reach for your right wrist. Reach up. And then exhale, bend over towards your left. Inhale, come back through center. Reach for your opposite wrist. Find length first and then bend over towards your right side. Good, and come back through center. Open your arms, hinge at your hips, forward fold. Now bend into your knees as much as you need to, 
and then you can reach for opposite elbows or just relax your hands down. Ground down through all four corners of your feet. You should be feeling this in the hamstrings. And the hamstrings are the three plus one muscles in the back of your thighs. They connect to your knees and up to your sits bones. Now it's important to understand because when we have really tight hamstrings, that affects the mobility in our knees and it pulls down on our low back. So it's a big source of low back pain. But we'll hold ragdoll here for a couple of minutes to start to slowly stretch out the hamstrings. So we'll return back to that four to eight breath. Breathe in through the nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale through the mouth. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale through the nose. One, two, three, four, open mouth, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And if you're having trouble breathing out to the count of eight, it could be that you are breathing out too fast, too soon. So breathe out slowly. Or approaching the last few seconds here in ragdoll. Now release your hands to the earth. Walk your feet out slightly. Toes out, heels in. Bend at the knees. Come down to a low squat. Hands out, come out in front of you. Palms up. Relax your head down. So the first principle of gravity yoga is that four to eight breath. The second part is wet noodle meaning we're gonna be as passive and relaxed in our muscles as much as possible. So we allow gravity to do most of the work. So here we're relaxing our head down. Our palms are up so that we're not gripping the mat. Return back to the deep breath. the last few seconds here. Okay, bring your hands to the earth and then come to tabletop. So bring your knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders. And we'll move through some cat-cow. So breathe in, drop the belly, arch the back, look forward. And then exhale, round the spine, chin to chest, look for your thighs. Inhale, arch, look forward. And exhale, round. Inhale, come to cow. Exhale, round your spine to cat. And one more time, inhale, arch. And exhale, round. And come to a neutral tabletop position. Now take your right foot and step it to the outside of your right hand. Good, so the ankle should be in line with the knee or you can use your hand to move the foot up even a little bit further. And then back knee, we're gonna slide it back. Okay, so we're here. Now you can keep your hands straight or you can reach for your blocks Come down to your forearms. And try not to bounce around too much in this pose. Just try to be as still as possible. But you can be, uh, it's okay to be coming up to your forearms and then back up to your hands. Now the front foot, you wanna turn it out slightly to the pinky side edge of the foot. 
So with gravity yoga, we've got the four to eight part breath, wet noodle. And the third part is to meet or beat our whole times. So try to stay in the pose the whole time with us. But if you need to get out, that's fine too. But just stay out the rest of the pose and wait until we move on to the next one to get in. And then the next time you do this, you wanna meet that whole time or you wanna beat it. So we'll return back to that four to eight breath. Breathe in through your nose. One, two, three, four. Open mouth, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale back through the nose. One, two, three, four. Open mouth, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Continue this deep breathing. Our front hip is in deep hip flexion and our back hip is in deep hip extension. And then when we outer rotate on the pinky side edge of the foot, we're also getting lateral extension in the hip. So those are the three major movements of the hips. So when we're holding these poses for a longer period of time under passive tension, we're slowly lengthening out those muscles. We're putting pressure underneath the joints. We're approaching the last few moments here. Continue to breathe. Relax any tension in your neck. You shouldn't be feeling too much tension in your arms either. We don't want to hold too much tension there. We're just trying to sink deep into the hips. Good, almost there. All right, slowly bring your front foot back to where it was, coming back to tabletop. Can you move, you can move your hip side to side, shake it out. And now take your left foot, walk it up outside your left hand, slide the back knee back, and then option the outer rotate onto the pinky side edge of the foot. So same thing here, you can keep your hands on the mat. If you have blocks, you can keep your hands on blocks or come down to your forearms. And we try to relax as much as possible because our muscles stretch better when they're relaxed. So we deepen into our breath so that our muscles can completely relax. Especially in poses like this, we're exposing our sex organs. And so naturally the body just wants to lock up. And we, when we uh, breathe deeply back into our breath, we let our body know that it's okay, that there's no harm that we're only stretching. You continue back with that four to eight breath, breathing in through the nose. One, two, three, four. Open mouth, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one two, three, four, and open mouth, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale through your mouth. Relax any tension in your neck. We're used to holding these poses for sometimes just 30 seconds at a time. 
So if we want to have change in the length of our muscles, and God hold them for a little bit longer, you get to this point that you haven't really felt before. And so we're looking for muscle discomfort, but not any kind of joint pain, nothing sharp. If there's something bad happening, pull out of it. But if it's just extreme muscle discomfort because we're not used to doing this, go back to the breath and stay with it. Approaching the last few seconds here. slowly bring your front foot back to where it was. Coming to tabletop. Tuck your back toes. Press your hips up and back for down dog. Shift forward to high plank. Lower your knees. And then slowly come all the way down to the earth. Now bring your elbows underneath your knees, hands in front of you, so you're making an 11. Now press your pelvis into the earth, tops of the feet are on the ground. Grip the earth with your hands and bring your chest forward. Crown of the head reaches up for Sphinx Pose. Resetting the back here. Continue with your deep breathing. Actively press your chest forward. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. A few more seconds here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Press back up to tabletop. Now bring your feet around and bring your sits bones down. Bring the soles of your feet together. Knees out wide. You want your feet about three hip distance from your body. Now you're gonna take your hands, bring them out in front of you, palms up, and then relax your head down for butterfly pose. So this is working into deep lateral extension of the hip joints, opening up the knees wide. Now this is really beneficial for people specifically who have a hard time sitting cross-legged or on the floor. Remember, we're being very passive here, wet noodle, letting gravity do all the work, and that's why our hands are up. So we're not gripping the mat in this specific pose, dropping the head down, and returning to 48 breath. Breathe in through the nose. One, two, three, four. And open mouth, exhale, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. And breathe in through the nose. One, two, three, four. Open mouth, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So our everyday life activities, sitting as much as we do for our job, when we're driving or watching TV, you know, all these things create very tight bodies. And we constantly have gravity on us as well. And with all good intentions, we're coming here to the gym and working out and building stronger muscles. But when you build strength in your muscles, you're also making them tighter again. And so that's why we do things like yoga or these long stretches 
because the ideal is to have strong, long muscles instead of strong, tight muscles or even long, weak muscles. So you have, you know, your person that does a lot of yoga that's super, super flexible, but they would really benefit from coming to a class like a CrossFit class so that they could strengthen their muscles. So the ideal is to have strong, long muscles. You know, that helps us recover faster, that helps our bodies be in better alignment. It just makes you feel better. You have less back pain. Continue with the deep breathing. Relax any tension. And you have, if you haven't already, um, go ahead and play some of your own music. You can listen to a podcast, audiobook, anything to kind of zone out and relax more into these poses. Remember just to breathe through the muscle discomfort, but pull out if there's any joint pain. We're approaching our final minute here in this pose. And continue to breathe. You can count to 100. By the time you get to 100, we'll be long done with the pose. But any little distraction to stay with it. in the last few seconds here. All right, slowly bring yourself back up. Now you're gonna keep your right leg the way it is. Take your left, swing it behind you. You can stay here, both legs bent at a 90 degree angle, hands out in front of you or take that back leg and slide it all the way back for pigeon. Okay, top of the foot's gonna relax on the earth. You can bring your hands out in front of you. You can bring them to blocks. You can take a block and put it underneath your thigh. You can stay here if you wanna go a little bit deeper come to your forearms. And drop your head down. Continue to with the four to eight breath. Breathe in through your nose. One, two, three, four. Open mouth, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale back through the nose. One, two, three, four. And open mouth, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And allow your body just to melt into the earth. Now, when we gain more mobility in our hips, that helps to support the muscles in the back. So the more mobile our hips are, 
the less back pain we'll have. You'll be able to get into your squats deeper. And just throughout life, getting up and down off the floor, walking upstairs, all these things involve our hips. And we don't want to be having all these back pains, muscle pains going on. And continue to deepen into your breath. We're approaching the final minute here in this pose. Stay with us. And with pigeon here, it's okay if you want to come up to your hands and then back down to your forearms. Just try not to bounce around too much. Be passive. in the last few seconds here. Okay, and slowly walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Bring your hips down to the earth and then swing your opposite leg around. So shin is parallel to the imaginary top of the mat if you don't have one. And then stay at 90 degrees in both legs or bring that back leg all the way back. Extend the leg, top of the foot's down. You can stay lifted with your hands or come back down to your forearms. Relax your head down. time under passive tension is one of the most effective ways to quickly change your range of mobility. So when we hold these poses, we're slowly lengthening out the muscle and the fascia. And the fascia connects all the soft tissues together. So we're lengthening the muscle and the fascia in these poses. And continue with the four to eight breath. Breathe in through the nose. One, two, three, four. Open mouth, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in through the nose. One, two, three, four. Open mouth, exhale, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Continue breathing on your own. Again, if you need to come up to your hands, if you're on your forearms, that's okay. Just try not to bounce around too much. We're approaching the final minute here in this pose. And if your arms are bent, slowly place your hands on the earth underneath your shoulders. Press the earth away, straighten your arms, lower down to the left sides of your sits bones, and then wrap your back leg around the front to a seated position. And then bend both knees, soles of the feet on the earth, 
Make sure you have enough room behind you. And then slowly roll all the way back. Knees are bent, feet are still on the ground. Now pick up your right heel, put it on top of your left thigh. Now you can stay here or you can reach for the back of the thigh to bring your knees in closer to you. Now open your arms to a T, shoulders on the earth, and slowly let your knees drift down to the left side. Now keep your shoulder blades on the ground. Your knee might hover, that's okay. Back crown, the back of the head can be on the mat or it can look for your right hand. And breathe into your right side body. And now slowly come back through center, uncross your leg and take your left heel and put it on top of your right thigh. Now you can stay like that or reach between your legs and reach for the back of the right thigh to draw your knees in closer. Now open the arms to a T or you can goal post them and then slowly let the knees drift over towards the right side. Now the back of the head can stay on the mat or it can look for your left hand to complete the twist in your spine. And breathe into the left side body. And slowly bring your knees back through center. Unhook them. Hug your knees close towards your chest. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and then relax the legs down. Relax your arms down, your legs down. Palms can be up for final Shavasana. And do a quick scan of your body. Relax your ankles. Relax your thighs. Let your hips fall heavy. Relax your fingers. And let your shoulders fall heavy. And then relax any tension in your face. Unclench your jaw, unfurl your brow, and take these last few seconds to soak up all the benefits from the deep stretching we just did. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Take a big good morning stretch. And then rock to one side. And then slowly press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. And we're gonna end class with four to four breath. So it's an inhale through the nose for the count of four, and then exhale through the mouth, through the nose, sorry, through the nose for the count of four as well. So we're gonna balance out the breath. So you can relax your hands on your knees, relax your shoulder blades away from your ears, and breathe in through the nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale, back out to the nose. Four, three, two, one. Inhale through the nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale through the nose. Four, three, two, one. Place one hand on your chest one hand on your belly. May this practice heal and strengthen your body and mind. May this practice heal and strengthen your body and mind. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Jacob, for being here with me. How are you feeling, Jacob? Feeling really good. Feeling loose. Loose? Feel good. Great. Okay. Well, thank you. And I hope to see you guys again next time.